Oh, my goodness. Get out to explain. Well, I'm bleeding. All right, let's see. Careful. Careful to form for life. <laughs>
for a permit to knock it down. Oh, try it! All right, that's what you want. <laughs> Where's the romance gone? Where's the romance gone? Destroyed by the cynics and the liberationists. <laughs> Will be type of man who pays a woman a compliment today. He bends to kiss her hand and whack on the back of the neck with a karate chop. <laughs> Get the flowers, the chocolates, soft word. Rather woo her with a self-defense manual in one hand and the planned parenthood leaflet in the other. <laughs> Thank you. 
she going, I asked myself. <laughs> is she going as a gesture, a covert invitation aimed at me? Is she asking me to come with her, in fact? No. Is she saying, I'm going to Provincetown. If you care about me at all, then you must come to Provincetown. No. Having first, of course, told me in a series of hints in so many words exactly where she was going. Promise down! Yes. No. No, I think you're barking up the wrong tree there, Tom. You want by thinking this is just subtle women's language for me. Up yours, buddy, I'm off. <laughs> no, I don't see that. I'm gonna have to have it out. No, oh, I wouldn't bother. Are you giving up that cat for the day you coming in? No, I was uh, just uh, passing through. On my way to, uh, Bridgeport. I thought you were staying. No. Business? Yes, uh, the, uh, uh assistant librarian's annual conference. <laughs> Ooh, great. Bye. <laughs> Try and persuade that wife of mine to put on a hot coffee, huh? Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> well, so uh, how is she? Who? The little white viewer. Oh, I don't know. She was all right. Uh, last time I looked at her. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what's going on? Mm, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I mean our Annie. Off with Tom. Off on the slide room with Tom, isn't she? Is she? Oh, yeah, it's obvious. I mean, as soon as she wrote to Sarah and asked us to come down here for the weekend look after the I thought, hello, what? And so, uh, Sarah. Sarah? Well, what did she have to say about all this? Oh, well, no idea. Didn't ask her. No, she's off with Tom, you could tell. Looked uh, a bit edgy, huh? Mm, looked guilty, you might even say. <laughs> Must have been desperate. What do you mean desperate? Uh, well, I mean, knowing him, not exactly one to take the plunge. Now, he's uh, <laughs> been hanging around here for, what, uh, three years? And I'll bet you they haven't gotten any further than a fumble of the <laughs> Oh, well, I'm glad. Uh, glad for Annie. I think she's a bright girl, not a great beauty, mind you, but her heart's in the right place. She's got an easy temperament, she's good around the house. Oh, Maud Connor, sunny view, facing south. What? Well, you make her sound like she's a property of her, say. Oh, no, no, that's You probably better check her over a woodworm while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> woodworm, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> say, listen, uh, you want a coffee nip? <laughs> so, uh, what uh, takes you to Bridgeport then? Hmm? Business. In a way. <laughs> oh, yes. Got uh, something lined up for you. You know, you might say that. A uh, bit of a shock. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, you lucky son of a gun. <laughs> hey, she hasn't uh, got a friend, has she? Uh, well, she's got a sister, but she's married. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe in that personally. I've been tempted, mind you. Oh. I mean, after you've been married for a while, you can't uh, help window shopping a bit. <laughs> you know the old urge. <laughs> but uh, still, you keep it under control, don't you? I mean, you have to. Well, you may not have to. <laughs> but I do. I mean, not that there isn't something to be said for. I've often even said that I thought it might even help a married sometime. Well, now, I'm not just thinking of me here, no, no, right? it's Sarah too, not being selfish. Hmm? I mean, if, if, if she went off, well, if she went off with someone, she might, well, um, it might give her, uh, well, it might get her, give her, <laughs> well, it might get her going again, for God's sake, if you follow me over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would never work for us. <laughs> Sarah would never dream of going off. Did she did, I could. But, uh, well, we're just not like you and Ruth. No, and what are we like? Uh, well, um, easy. <laughs> Nothing very easy about Ruth. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean easy like that. But, I mean, let's face it, you folks have always had, uh, what shall we say, a, an unconventional relationship. Um, I mean, Ruth has always been a non-conformist, even when we were kids. You know, I envy those types sometimes. Mother was another one, you know. I mean, that lady out there led a life I can tell you. I know. Uh, you wouldn't think so now, but uh, she led our father a dance. The poor man really wasn't up to it, though. Just shut himself in up there, pretended it all wasn't happening. Of course it was. Sometimes even under his own roof. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, bound to happen. Well, not so much on me. I was the eldest. 
I'm not really sure how Annie took it. I think she just let it drift over like she does now most of the time. But, uh, but Ruth, she took it a bit different. I know, I live with her. <laughs> she took it uh, oddly. She's a mess. <laughs> to put it bluntly, yes. <laughs> I mean, she's had his mother's looks. Attractive, wouldn't you say? Yes. I mean, difficult for a brother, but striking. Yes. And Annie and I always used to say that uh, she had our share as well. Certainly had mine. I don't think uh, Sarah married me for my looks. I wonder why she did. <laughs> yes, that's a good question. I'll have to ask her sometime. Well, I suppose she'll be looking for me. I'd best uh, be going, huh? Listen, you uh, have a good trip and think of me, won't you, huh? I will. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I wonder what she put in this one. That must have packed the whole damn china cabinet. <laughs> Another thing, Norman. We have children in New York. I mean, that makes a difference. You can't go gallivanting off, not, uh, not with children. Responsibilities, damn it. Rage! Oh, hello. Sarah. Hello, How's Sarah Norman. this morning? Very well, Norman. Surprised to hear you were here. Well, yes, I was just uh, passing through. That's nice. But I better check in on the old homestead. Naturally. <laughs> Well, I, uh, better be off, huh? Are you taking those in, Branch? Hi, yes, yes. I've just been talking with Annie. Yes. Yes. Oh, Branch, I have good news. She's decided she doesn't want to go away this weekend after all. She doesn't? Uh, no. Isn't that nice? Well, then we didn't need to come at all. No, well, I think it's just as well we did. How did all this racing about you get Oh. It's very difficult for her coping entirely on her own, you know. Well, goodbye, Norman. I expect you'll want to hurry along to Bridgeport. Dashing off immediately, or you're going to stay in shot a bit, huh? No, I'm going to stay. <laughs> You know something? 
I wouldn't have missed this weekend for anything in the world, Sarah. Too much fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
anywhere, let alone in math. Uh, uh, she ran that school with more sheer ruthless efficiency than the head of the mafia. She, uh, she asked you to do something more, and you did it. You never argued. <laughs> it was no good arguing with her, you see, because she was cleverer than you were. Precociously clever! She could reduce a nine-year-old thug to tears with her sarcasm. <laughs> and it was no use trying to pump her either, for she had seduced all the best muscle in the place. <laughs> to the bodyguard five deep. Not that she ever really needed it. Well, for some reason, she took a real dislike to Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe she could see what I really thought of. She made my life murder. I was afraid to go to school. I used to hide. I used to play truant. I eat anything rather than go. And then, one day, she came over to my apartment with her mother to see my mother. A nice sociable tea and chat. And they sent the two of us out to play together. <laughs> Suddenly, there we were, not in school, and not in the playground, which was definitely her territory, but on mine, Dry Park, Central Park West. And we just stood there, staring at each other for the longest time. And I thought, what the hell am I frightened of you for? A skinny little girl with knock knees and buck teeth? I mean, what the hell have I got to be frightened of you for? So, <laughs> I picked her up like this under old number. <laughs> and I found the biggest patch of stinging nettles I could find. <laughs> and I pulled down her pants. <laughs> and I sat her right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Are you two been getting 
at each other again? Well, here and there. <laughs> Seduce me? <laughs> 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 
you can uh, handle another one? <laughs> I'm sober as a preacher. Alrighty, I think we've uh, earned it, don't you? Hey! Bring the bottle. Right, I will. <laughs> Well, we best take it 
seriously. He's obviously only done of Norman's gestures against the world or whatever. It's not as if they've even done anything. Well, I think you might have done a little bit more than last. I mean, if I'm in your position, I should have been here. I have been married to Norman for five years. I have gone through bitter experience. The last thing to do with Norman is to take him seriously. That's exactly what he wants. I'm not saying that it's a strange sometimes to keep smiling and keep behaving particularly bizarrely and threatening to burn down the house. When he really begins to bother me, I just go to bed and lock the door. I'm amazed you stay with him. I really am. Well, I don't want to do it that way. I'd rather think of him staying with me. After all, I make all the payments on the house and most of the furniture is mine. It has crossed my mind in moments of extreme provocation to throw him out. But I don't know, I think I'm rather fond of him. It's a bit like owning an oversized, unmanageable dog being there with him. <laughs> He needs continual exercise, in mental and physical. And it's sensible to lock him up when you have visitors. Otherwise, he calls them. <laughs> jumps up at people who encourage him. It's a general rule. If you don't want him licking your face, don't offer him little tidbits. <laughs> and I don't mean just Annie, either. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Sarah. I'm sure at some time he's cast an eye in your direction. Certainly not. In fact, I've seen him do it. Rubbish! Don't assume everyone's motives are the same as your own. Anyway, the point is, as far as I can gather, Tom and Annie are practically not on speaking terms. Now, apparently they had words last night. Now, I do not think that Tom <coughs> suspects Norman, but all the same he says is something he is very upset. She's not still with that left man. <laughs> Tom would make her a very good husband. I mean, he has his faults. I'm planning to compare him to some men. He's very kind, considerate. He has done a lot for him over the years. He is as selfish as hell. Oh, that is just not true. He is quite content from all accounts to come round day after day, eat her food, use his place as a second home, go and go and he pleases, and what's he given her in return? Absolutely nothing. That is extremely unfair. He's a parasite, like one of the ticks on his wretched animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is obviously not worth discussing with you, Ruth. We don't see eye to eye on anything that we never <laughs> have. Quite right, very sensible. I am going to enjoy the plan, and then I'm going to have to do some work. It was very kind of you to phone me and express so much concern over my relationship with Norman. And I say there is nothing I can do about it. Norman is a law unto himself and always has been, and I have a great deal of work I should be doing tomorrow. What the hell is wrong with this chair? <laughs> well, if you would wear your glasses. Oh, don't you start, Sarah. Norman is bad. I, you grope about dry cars. Look, come away, Sarah. You're a pain in the neck. You know, I think Norman is just about what you deserve. I Damn. Really
Now you've seen me. Yes, I have. <laughs> you look different. Can't think why. Different. I'm older, perhaps. No, no. Can't think. It'll come to me. <coughs> oh. What? I was wondering if there was any reason why we were sitting like this. <laughs> Well, I don't know why you should be. No, nor do I. I know why I am. Oh? Because the bench is too dirty and I can't open the damn chair. Oh, oh, well, it just, uh, let me get the transition. It's a bit rusty, you see, that's all. There we are. Thank you. You say you've seen Norman. Yes. Have you seen Annie? Yes. How did she look? Aren't you going to open up your chair? Oh! <laughs> Point is, I think I'm in her bad books. Really? I really pulled her off last night. You did? Yes. I thought it might... Well, she seemed to be taking me far too much for granted. Was she? So I thought a couple of sharp words might do the trick. Did you? <laughs> I told her to smarten herself. I told her she looked a mess. Really? Yes. I threatened to belt her. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. Do you think I've damaged my chances? Chances of what? I don't know, just general chances. <laughs> Give 
little bit of a <laughs>
Norman know, do you think? What? About me? Of course he does. <laughs> oh. Well, that explains it. Why he's been acting a bit odd towards me, slightly strange, you know? Oh, well. You're looking very nice, by the way. Lovely. Very nice indeed. Very well turned out. I think you're a raving lunatic. <laughs> well, I go a bit over the moon sometimes. <laughs> you don't need to work. Oh, hello. Hello? Oh. You want a cup of coffee out here? Well, no, no, uh, I have had enough sun. I think I'll go upstairs and break my mother. Oh, okay, she's awake. I've just been in with her. Talk to her. Uh, Tell her. Oh. <laughs> you want coffee, Tom? No, that's all right. You know, you look different somehow. What is it? She probably hasn't got her glasses on. <laughs> no, that's not it. It'll come to me. Well, don't force it. <laughs> Did you catch the cat? Yes. He was out in the front when I came in, just sitting in the sun, purring away. Oh, good. Is his paw better? Oh, yes. It wasn't that bad. I just took well, one of these. The way you went on about it, I thought you were going to have to amputate a leg. No. You may not have noticed this, you know, but you probably seem to have the unhealthiest cat in the country. <laughs> they haven't had a day without something. He's either got feeble resistance or he's a terrific hypochondriac. I don't know which. The only cat I know of with a personal physician. Well, I'm afraid I do rather use him, actually, as a reason for coming. Oh, there's no need. You're welcome any time. Seems a bit unfair to keep pumping him full of medicine just in your <laughs> You see, I'm so useless in these things. 
I never pick up these little signs and signals or hints until it's far too late. It appears that Ruth has been carrying a torch for me. He has? <laughs> I didn't encourage her, I promise you. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know just now. Are you sure you got this right, Tom? <laughs> Ruth can be a little so quick sometimes. Well, I mean, I'm not saying you did, but could you possibly miss the point? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well, don't be an idiot. You can't just... Norman. Annie, this is stupid. Hey. Norman. No, it's not. Annie. Fine, Annie. Let's play if they want. Norman. I was afraid. <laughs> so, uh, how's that car? Are you working, Tom? Oh, no complaints. No complaints. You know, it's very funny because I have the next old neighbor who bought one of those. It's the same car, the same year as yours. Oh, well, the wax had an awful lot of trouble with it. Did? Yes. It seems that he was going up this very steep hill, you see? And he was in fourth gear, and he found a need to shift down into third gear. So he had a big truck in front of him and a big truck behind him. Well, he's going up the hill, and he used to shift down into the second gear, see? And whack! The whole gear had to come off on his knees! Oh, it could have been there. Sarah will be getting on at me again. 
I really don't know why we're in such a hurry. You don't have to be home until this afternoon to uh, collect the children. Could you stay and enjoy the sun a bit more? You uh, ought to be home yourself, haven't you? I think I've just taken the day off. So is Norman. Oh, well, why not, huh? Sam is being almost amiable towards me at the moment. I don't know why that should be, do you? No. <laughs> I'm afraid I suspect her when she's nice to me. I don't want to sound mean about your wife, but whenever she smiles, it usually means a disaster is about to overtake. Yeah. <laughs> she was extremely cheerful on my wedding day, I seem to remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's she up to do now? Well, what? this sounds silly. I guess sounds ridiculous. But do you think a Norman has a... Um... Has what? Well, you told Sarah. Norman and Sarah. No, no, I didn't think so. I just have this idea. I mean, I think I'm getting a bit jump, jumpy. He's been around everyone else. Everyone else he... being Annie. Uh, well, yes. You know, I don't think you should suspect Norman of everything, you know. Uh, oh, no. He can't be held responsible for every strange relationship in the family. <coughs> no, no, I'm... He's not a complete monster. No, that's not what I'm saying. There is a... There's nothing there, only this. It's garden wire. I know it's garden wire, that's all there is. Well, this is worse than useless, it's much too thick. Well, I'm trying to help. Yeah, but we need used wire, I'll find it, don't worry. I'm just hoping there isn't any. Of course there is, I'll find it. You won't, you know. <laughs> Wanna bet? <laughs> Some uh, wire. No, it's screwed on. Don't need wire. 
This bed is a genius. No, same thing happened on mine. They're always falling off those things. Really? Don't you think someone should tell Reg he's still hunting for wire for now? Oh, good Lord, Izzy, I better go tell no, him. Hey. No, that's all right. No, 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 I just want to see the expression on his face. <laughs> hey, Reg! Yes. Well, uh, Now just stop looking like that, Tom. What? Embarrassed as Burton. Oh, well. Forget it. It was a misunderstanding. I don't usually grab hold of women. Yes, in that I way. do realize that. <laughs> There's no more to get to the question. As long as you appreciate that I'm not. Uh, you know, it's a pity you don't, in a way. What? Grab hold a bit more. How do you mean? And, for instance, she might even appreciate it. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think that she goes in for that sort of thing. Yes, <laughs> apart from with Norman. Or do I mean human beings? They can be one and the same. <laughs> I mean, with other animals, well, with the majority of them, they're either off heat or on heat. Everyone knows where they are. I probably should have been born a horse or something. <laughs> I was talking to her about something or other. She started breaking a plate. What? Oh. Smashing a plate. Just no reason, just simply <laughs> smashing a plate. I hardly like to talk to her at all when she's like that. In case she starts on me. <laughs> well, just thank you very much, huh? All right. You would have told me it's screwed. I mean, I wouldn't have had to waste a half an hour in there looking for fuse wire where it isn't should be. I, I, I'm sorry, I thought you knew it's screwed. Oh, if I had known it is screwed. And you know what? This little shrimp back here sniggering away ain't much help either. No, then stop sniggering. I'm not sniggering. These are joyful guffaws. <laughs> Listen, did you put the top back on? No, I thought you might have to. Uh, right, no, I mean, uh huh? Come with me and do something useful for once, huh? Well, if it's only once. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Have I got my rope? No, I don't think I do. I think I took it out to make room for the cases. I, do you carry a tow rope? No idea. We lost the key to the trunk. <laughs> well, have you opened it? We haven't. Come on. <laughs> what ball is in there? Come on. Any shoes? No. Oh, well, it's like me. It'll rust away eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I, do you have such a thing as a rope? I mean, a big, thick one. I think there's one in the cellar. It's quite heavy. Oh, just perfect. And John, uh, fetch the rope. Rope? In the cellar at the foot of the steps? Oh, right. Rope. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Listen, now, what we'll do is we'll bind it with a bit of fuse wire, as I said, and then we'll tow her up to the top of the hill, and then you're free to roll her down with her, right? Okay, got that? And the woman, follow me. Must be marvelous to be a leader of men. <laughs> I think we're going to spend another night here, this way. Oh, well, it's no bother. I think it's better if we don't. This country air has a disastrous effect on some of us. Not that I blame anyone in particular, least of all you, looking after that woman to turn you completely. I'm sorry. I've said I'm sorry. Why should you be? It was entirely Norman's fault. Not really. I was feeling lonely and sorry for Yes, myself. I'm sure you were, but that doesn't excuse Norman. Well, he was feeling lonely, too. Norman? No, it was Norman got so lonely about. Sorry for himself, maybe. No, he just cannot stand not being the center of attention. Anyway, we won't talk about Norman. It's talked about enough. This is why he does these things in the first place. You and Tom. Yes? You really should try and work something out, you know. It shouldn't drag on like this. It's really absurd. We both want to get together. We all should. Look, it's a lovely day. After we've all gone, sit Tom out here and say, point blank, either he marries you or comes to live with you or whatever it is you both want, or else he clears off for good. That'll do it. 
be so much more convenient, and then we wouldn't have to worry about you. Which would also be convenient. Well, we do worry. There's no point you giving up everything from us. You'll turn into a martyr like her, which would be too awful for words. Two of you in the same family. <laughs> Don't worry. You can't smash crockery for the rest of your life. It may be quite satisfying, but it's no substitute for the real life. <coughs> Who told you about that? Oh, hello. <coughs> no one?
sorting out our relationship, if we have one, to such an extent that we come together on more or less a permanent basis. Temporarily. <laughs> No, well, I mean, uh, tighter than that. <laughs> In between. Loose and tight. <laughs> uh, the whole hog, if you want to, it's up to you. I see. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to marry me? I do. Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 